Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Giulio Polerio and Domenico. This game was played in Rome, Italy. In 1610, Giulio Polerio had white pieces and he started with e4. Domenico played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. White to move. What would an Italian play in this position? Giulio Polerio played bishop to c4, the Italian opening. Knight to f6, two knights defense. Knight to g5 going for fried liver attack. Black to move. d5 was played. Bishop to c5. Trexla counterattack leads to a very sharp game. In our game we have d5. e takes on d5. Black to move. Knight takes pawn on d5 was played. Knight to a5 is recommended by theory nowadays. And after bishop to b5 check, c6, d takes on c6, b takes on c6. And black has a compensation for a sacrifice pawn. Back to our game. In the game we have knight takes pawn on d5. White to move. Knight takes pawn on f7 was played. d4 was Fischer's choice in many games. Knight takes pawn on f7. King takes knight. Queen to f3 check. King to e6. If king goes to g8, then the game ends very quickly. Just like that. So we have king to e6, knight to c3, pressure is on the knight on d5, knight to e7, knight to b4 is more tricky. Sometimes black plays knight to d4, and one line goes like this. Bishop takes on d5, check, king to d6, queen to d3, c6, bishop to e4, and king to c7. Back to our game. Knight to e7 was played. d4, c6, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, h6, bishop takes knight on e7, bishop takes bishop, and white castled queenside. Rook to f8, attacking the queen, queen to e4, black to move. This is the critical position of the game. Black has a good move in this position. What is it? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Play with black pieces played rook takes pawn on f2. Better was bishop to g5 check and after king to b1 rook to f4. This would give black better fighting chance. In the game we have rook takes pawn on f2, but now d takes on a5. Bishop to g5 check, king to b1, rook to d2, h4, rook takes rook, rook takes rook. Bishop takes pawn on h4. Focus is on the knight on d5. There is four attackers and only three defenders. So white plays the obvious. Knight takes knight on d5. C takes on d5. Rook takes pawn on d5. And black is lost. Queen to g5 was played. If king to e7, rook takes queen. So saving the queen. Rook to d6 check. King to e7. White played the move and black resigned. What would you do? Play with white pieces played rook to g6 and black resigned in view of this continuation. Saving the queen, let's say queen goes to d2. Rook takes on g7 check. King to e8. Rook to g8 check. King to d7, bishop to b5 check. King to e6, rook to g6 check. King to e7. 
Queen takes bishop on h4 check. King to f8. And there is checkmate in one. Queen to f6. Check. Mate. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.